I know how much you all like LUTs. Um, one of the questions I get asked uh, pretty often is how to make a LUT in um, Lightroom. So I'm going to go over how to do that pretty quickly. Um, pretty straightforward process, but there's a couple of things you got to watch out for um, or else you end up with like crazy artifacts um, in your images. Um, so the idea here is to get an image that you want to use as a test image. I have my test rooster um, and then the neutral LUT. Um, you can get the neutral LUT from GitHub page. Um, it's in here in textures. Um, name neutral. There we go. That's it. So save out this file and this is the one you'll be using to apply your changes to. Um, quick shout out to myself. <laughs> um, if you want to become a sponsor, I'd really appreciate it. Um, it'll help me out. and I'll make more tutorials for you. Okay, so get your chicken or whatever you have. Um, and you can just start tweaking these sliders in a look that you like. It's all kind of random, but this looks pretty good. Um, and then, of course, if you want to like tweak color balance, you want to warm things up a bit, you can do that. Um, you can play with vibrance and saturation, of course. Um, but the areas you'll start getting into trouble is like these effects and like detail and optics. I don't know what geometry is. Um, but that stuff is uh, affecting, like I'll do grain, so you'll see, hopefully. Well, grain adds a bunch of like random colored pixels um, to the image, so it it will like destroy your, your color lookup. Um, I'll show you what that looks like, but for now, um, once you have all of your settings the way you want them, you can, how do you do this? Uh, you gotta right click somewhere. Oh, I think it's down here. Yeah, so copy edit settings. I guess you can just do Command C. Um, you copy those and then you go over to your LUT and uh, I'm going to try just doing Command V. Yeah, so you can see, you can actually see the noise show up in that. Um, yeah, I left I left green all the way on. So try copying that again. So there we go. That's like a much more um, pleasing looking let. So to export this, I think it's a uh, Command Shift E, and that'll open up the export settings. Um, I've been doing JPEG at 100%, um, full size. You don't want to go messing with like lower quality here. Um, that has the chance to like see if it'll show up. It has, yeah, okay. So there's like a ton of artifacting here, and that will definitely show up in your um, in your spark filter. So keep it at 100. You'll get nice and smooth colors. So go ahead and, and uh, export that. Save it to desktop. Um, Spark is going to be a little laggy. I, I apologize. It's recording and got a bunch of programs open. Um, so it's named neutral, but this is your, um, your edited LUT. So you can see the difference there. Can I switch? Um, so I just want to stress this, like you always want to disable compression. So make sure that's checked. Otherwise you will get like weird banding stuff happening and you probably don't want that. Um, so there it is. Um, the, the image is like kind of noisy on here just cause it's my webcam, but that should look nice and smooth in your device. Um, so you can also, I'm going to go into like Lightroom presets. Um, there's a bunch of cool like preset 
splits they have in here. Um, you just, again, want to be careful of if the preset modifies anything in effects or detail, um, you want to slide that back to zero. Um, and I'll, I'll show you actually what a few um, uh, let's see, where is it? I'm going to show you what the grain looks like and like vignettes are pretty popular. So you might be able to, or you might think you would apply a vignette to a LUT, but it will totally screw things up for you. Um, so in case you see any of these weird issues happening, just, um, Keep in mind not to not to add grain or vignette or like um, check compression or no compression. So yeah, this usually only matters for on device, but be sure to check that. So this grain is like actually kind of cool, but um, probably gonna look like a little different on device too. Um, it might not even show up. I don't know. Uh, that's a good question. But vignette looks just like 100% wrong. It does not do anything close to what a vignette should be doing. But I don't know. This might be cool for some kind of effect you have in mind. So um, it's always an option to screw up your LUTs on purpose. Um, could get some cool stuff. I'd like to see what you all make uh, with this. And um, uh, hit subscribe on YouTube and I'll see you in the next one.